world. Nicholas Coriano here to explain how I acquired one, two, three, plus 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 apartments and one, two, three, four, five commercial units in a year and three months. So a year and four months ago, I owned zero real estate. Zero, zero, nothing. And in the last year and three months, I managed to acquire this portfolio. And the I, don't, I really don't announce every single purchase I do, but I've been getting a lot of questions on, hey, Nick, how did you do it? How did you uh, acquire all these units? And the simple answer is that I made it a point to get around people that are doing what I want to do. Sorry if I'm in the shade here, but um, that's that's the real answer. And I'll get you to a better place where you can see my face in a little bit. But that's the answer. The answer is that I got around people that were doing what I want to do. What do I mean? About three years ago, I was talking to a colleague. And Manny Torres, how's it going? Manny Torres, uh, he owns a Technique Baseball Academy in Trumbull, Connecticut. And we were talking about how we needed better quality people in our lives. We needed a better circle of influence in our lives. And we decided to throw this thing called the Think Tank Mastermind. And the whole purpose behind us throwing this event was to get around better quality people. Like we were looking at our Rolodex and we were like, man, we need to be around more power moves, more people that make power moves, you know, power movers. Um, so we decided to throw this event. And in this event, one of the first people I got to speak was my landlord from the Bridgeport Innovation Center, this guy named Sam Pierpont, multimillionaire real estate investor. And as soon as I got in his ear, I didn't stop being in his ear. You know, I made it a point to stay around this guy. And ever since then, whether, uh, you know, kind of my forte was landlords. If there was a landlord, like I had a landlord in Seymour, Connecticut, made friends with him. Turns out he's a millionaire, obviously, right? He owned the 30 apartments that I was renting one of them. But I stayed around that guy. Mailing out some bills right now. And what I realized is that was the catalyst to me buying all these properties. Now I can tell you that, you know, I went to school and I learned about real estate or how I financed those deals. But the truth was I became comfortable investing in real estate because I was around people that were investing in real estate. So the hack, you know, people want to know, is there a shortcut? Yeah, there is a shortcut. Stay around people that are doing what you want to do. I'm going to take a shortcut in here between these buildings. Stay around people that are doing what you wanna do. And what happens is, sometimes opportunity opens up. But really, the real catalyst is that they start dropping gems and it starts becoming easier for you to swallow making moves like they made moves, right? So between that guy, between my other landlord, I moved up to Herkimer, New York on my first real estate purchase. I mean, I buddy buddied up with another guy here. I, I talked to everybody here that owned a lot of real estate, but I buddy buddied up with the other guy who owned a ton of real estate. And that was the biggest catalyst for me. So it doesn't matter what you wanna do. Let's say you wanna open up restaurants and be a restaurateur, or you wanna be a fashion designer, get around people that are doing it. and. They'll start teaching you the tricks, which will in turn give you the confidence and lower the fear level because a lot of times the only reason we don't do anything or the reason we don't want to chase some of our dreams is because we're scared. And you're scared because you don't know. So knowing brings the fear level down, right? Understanding where the hiccups could be will bring that fear level down. So I'm going to make another video of how I actually bought the half a million dollar property with no money down and manage the cash flow three days after. <laughs>
I put money down that I wasn't mine. But my biggest advice for entrepreneurs trying to do anything is get around people. Get around people that are doing what you want to do. If you stay around that circle of influence, and sometimes those mentors aren't exactly, uh, they're not exactly going to tell you what to do. A lot of times they tell you what not to do or you understand what not to do. I have some mentors here that they tell me certain things and I just, I comprehend it, I understand it, and I understand there's some things that they're telling me that I shouldn't be doing because it didn't serve them well, whether they think they did or not. So sometimes the best mentors are telling you what not to do, but get around people that are doing what you wanna do and I guarantee, absolutely 1,000%, that you're gonna get those dreams that you're chasing for, Those those business visions you're chasing for be great if you guys need help forming an llc or writing a business plan that's what i do for a living graduated business school graduated law school and now i help entrepreneurs build their businesses um hit me up nicholascoriano.com we'll talk soon guys